our new normal now is face masks. You can't go to grocery, you can't go to your friend's house, you can't go anywhere or leave the house without a face mask. This is something that we'll still continue to have even if, what, there's no pandemic, there's still other issues, there's still other illnesses, diseases and things like that. So this is something that we need to do to keep safe. So these face masks are created for everyone, not just a specific type of demographic, not um, only people who love about sustainability. This is also somebody that someone from the corporate world can wear also. So here at Fig Tree Farms, we have displayed here is the plantable face mask, which I'm wearing right now. I also like this face mask because um, not only it protects you, but it also protects the environment. And we are giving back to the environment what we took away from the environment. It's 100% made out of pure abaca paper. The thing I really love about this is that it's embedded with plantable seeds. So you can see right here, there's a couple different ones in here that we put. So this is not just a regular abaca mask. There's actually a lot of different masks out there that you can find. But the thing that makes this particular mask different from all the other ones is that this is biodegradable. Um, yes, there's some that cloth masks, uh, although it's reusable, you can use it for many times. Does it disintegrate into the earth if you throw it away? No, it doesn't. But this one does. So you don't have to think when you throw it into the ground, it grows into something. Or what you can do is that you can make a hobby out of it, um, grow it in your own home, grow your own herbs, grow your own vegetables. So you're doing a, uh, taking part in the agricultural side of the Philippines or taking a part in this environment. So that's what the goal is for this mask. So as you can see here, it has seeds, right? So this one is made from, has tachai seeds inside of it. And we currently have five different colors, green, pink, yellow, white, and blue. But we can make any color that your hearts desire. <laughs> um, and so as far as the seeds that are inside of it, we can also put whatever seeds you want as long as it's small enough. So right now we have pechai, sili, tomato, we even have mustasa eggplant. How did the plantable mask come to be? So Fig Tree Farms, we can't take full credit actually. We just played a small role, a small part in order to get that plantable face mask out there. So the idea of the plantable face mask, of course, um, came because of the pandemic. Um, I mentioned before that since the start of lockdown, since the start of the pandemic, there has been 52,000 metric tons of medical waste here in the Philippines. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I think, um, you know, actually I come from the US and uh, I've seen Filipinos, they're so proud of their country, they're so proud of uh, this world that they live in. But when people come to visit here, do they see a beautiful environment? No, they see that there is waste everywhere. So how can we be truly proud of our country? How can we say we love this place, but <laughs> where is our action? So that's why with a medical face mask, um, that's something that we use to keep ourselves safe, but it can also help the environment. So it's safe for you, safe for the environment. The incredible thing about this is that the people who are making these masks, it's so amazing. They're um, a group of livelihood women in Tuy Batangas. They already had this company before that they had been creating craft paper, different things like that. And so they decided, um, what is the solution to this issue rising? What is the solution to disposable face masks? So why not have plantable face masks? So then they created that. And since then, uh, they're really just so amazing. So we just want to highlight that community, highlight the people behind that. and. Uh, tell to people about their advocacies, make it known that protect our environment, protect the Philippines if you truly love it. So that's one of the things I noticed about this mask is that we're using it as a tool for our advocacy. This is something physical that people can do and uh, they're not just wearing it and talking about the advocacy about sustainability. They can then plant it back into the earth and there's the action of sustainability. After you use it, um, this is how you plant it. Right, so I'll go ahead and just cut it in half so that it's a little bit smaller. But you can plant the whole thing into the ground already. So what you do, dig out just a small spot and then you can fold the whole thing directly like this and put it into the soil. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Cover it just like that and then soak it in water. Then, and then just wait a few days for it to germinate and it will start to grow on its own. So always be sure that it has enough sunlight, enough water, enough soil so it can be properly cared for. 
So as a company, all of our products follow our, our advocacy, which is eco-friendly, all organic, safe to use for yourself and for the environment. So um, for me, I want to encourage the people to start buy from local business, support local, uh, shop local, because when you support these local businesses, when you support those local farmers, things like that, you're helping the economy, you're helping the community, and you're not buying from these big factories or these uh, chemically made different things like that. You're, you know where the source is from, you know that it's, it's organic, you know that it came from real people's hands, people with different lives, people who need to feed their families. I think what makes us different also as a company is that we're not just trying to find all of these different products. We're trying to also stay true from our roots, from our, uh, for where we really came from. So that's our end goal as, as a business, as a company, as a farm, is just to stay humble and hopefully in, in, in turn we can reach out to other communities and help them to become self-sustaining themselves. So hopefully in the future uh, we do plan if uh, we can maybe create masks that have herbs in it. Uh, example, our Gluternati. Uh, that would be something so amazing because not only do we have that already as our product, we can already put it back into the mask. And there you go, you already are growing your own tea, something that um, we're already telling people about it goes hand in hand together. The idea with these face masks is you don't have to change the life you're living right now. You don't have to go completely zero waste free or you know things like that. This is just uh, one small thing in order to help keep this earth alive, keep this earth healthy. So different small things like that, I think that's what something about the face mask can help do is that um, this is something that you don't have to think about. But at the same time, although you don't think about it, it makes a huge difference in this world because, example, we don't think about when we have to wear a mask, we just put it on and then afterwards we throw it away. But that small action is so harmful to this environment. So with this, if you wear this face mask and then you throw it away, if it goes into the ground, something amazing can grow out of it. I want to encourage you guys, if you want to learn more about sustainability or about who we are as a company, Fig Tree Farms, check out our Facebook page, Fig Tree Farms. Check out our website, figtreefarms.com. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on TikTok. Um, and all of our items are available on Shopee and Lazada at the Fig Tree Farms. So hopefully you guys can check that out and thank you. If you want to hear more inspiring stories, not just about mine and Fiji Farms, but on different parts of the Philippines here in the world, check out Lap City on their YouTube page.